are the other medications that you take secretly blocking your progress on your GLP-1 journey? So get out your med list and I'm gonna tell you which medications could be the culprit. Number one, antidepressants, specifically SSRIs. Some names of these would be something like Lexapro, Zoloft, or Paxil. Now, these are notorious for causing weight gain or ability to not lose weight well. They mess up some of the serotonin signals and can really get in the way of your GLP-1 and the hormone signaling. Number two, antipsychotics. So things like Respiradol, Seroquel, sometimes these are used off-label for sleep. These also really can cause a lot of issues with weight gain. Number three, beta blockers. Metoprolol, propanolol, atenolol, anything that ends in an OL is usually a beta blocker. These slow your heart down, but they also slow down your metabolism. They are used for lots of different things, not only blood pressure, sometimes they're used for tremor, sometimes migraine prevention. Number four, steroids. So even in short periods can trigger weight gain and fluid retention. So we try to avoid those if we can. Sometimes steroids are a necessary evil, but just look at whether or not you're on prednisone, methylpresnisolone, anything of that sort. And this includes injectable steroids. If you're diabetic, there are certain diabetic medications that can make it harder to lose weight. Insulin specifically, and groups of medicine like sulfonylureas. So amaryl, glimipuride, claburide. Those, really tough to lose weight on those. This last one is real sneaky, and I guarantee that a lot of you are taking this because it's over the counter. Antihistamines, Benadryl, Zyrtec, Claritin, Allegra. These actually cause fatigue and weight gain. So if you're on a GLP-1 and you're taking antihistamines, you may want to reconsider something that's not oral for your allergies because it could be causing an issue. Now, this is education. This is not medical advice. This is something that you could bring up to your provider to discuss with them whether or not you have alternatives to these medications if you're on any of these and whether or not they are right for you. But no way, shape, or form do I want anybody stopping, starting, adjusting medications without talking to their provider first. So I want you to go peek at your med list. See if you're on any of these medications. Let me know in the comments section. Are you taking any of these medications and have you ever thought about was that what was stalling you out? Make sure you follow me here for all the GLP-1 tips.